and you said something beautiful that it would be in harmony with love, ethics and God's truth mm. when we're processing emotions. So if we examine this previous example that we had, where I expect you to love me yeah. and when you don't love me, I have a big cry about it. Well, that's telling me that I actually have an expectation or a demand mm -hmm. that you love me. Now, God's truth is, if I just tell myself God's truth, well, God's truth is that you don't have to love me. How do I feel about that? <laughs> yeah. Now, initially, I might feel angry about that, mm -hmm. which is processing a deeper emotion. Mm -hmm. But after I get through my anger and get into what, what I'm afraid of about that, and probably we'll start to go through fears like this emotionally. We'll, the fears will look something like, if Mary doesn't love me, then and nobody has to love me, then I'm going to go through my life unloved. Mm -hmm. how, how do I feel about that? Mm -hmm. And then I'll start connecting to some feelings about my being unloved in my childhood. And in the case, I, it's an interaction with a woman, so it must be some feelings that I have with my mother that I was unloved, mm -hmm. that I need to actually go through. And I'll start processing through that. So I won't be focusing my attention on the current relationship not where it's not working. My attention will be focused on a past experience, usually a childhood one, yeah. that I need to feel about and eventually connect to. Mm -hmm. Then I'll actually be processing, <laughs> experiencing the truth of that, my emotion. Yeah, yeah.